So it's another beautiful day in the in the Paris 2004 Olympics here in France. And my name is Francis Achi. And somebody that you are looking at right now is Nigerian number one badminton player. Anoluwa Okpayori. Confirm Ninja. How are you doing? I am doing fine. And you? Oh, we are good. We are good. Yes. The weather is very good. I see we are in Lagos. I see we are in Abuja. I see we are in Bauchi. I see we are in uh, Obiaruku. I see we are in Kuala. I worry. Anyway, my brother, so how do you feel? Uh, the game, your game. Uh, how do you feel, to, to, I feel at least to have represented Nigeria at the Olympics? Let's take it from there. Well, um, I feel very proud. And um, the first game, the first day, the first match, uh, it was um, a bit, uh, I mean, it was a bit uh, not okay for me, like, like with my standard. But uh, I was happy that uh, I'm able to first participate, fill the court, and uh, also give my best. And the second day was much, much better, which was even more impressive than the previous day. So I feel so achieved that I'm representing the country. And I also feel very elated that uh, I'm able to bridge a gap between African um, players and the world players too. The gap was uh, was showing that, okay, these guys are, are catching up and like they are almost there. So I'm happy that I'm able to bridge that gap. And, very soon, I'm very sure that maybe I'm going to um, achieve what they thought is unachievable. But what have you learned playing against some of these established players in badminton? Uh, I've learned that they, you need to be consistent and um, be positive. And also the most important thing is to like have fun while you are giving your best. Uh, you don't uh, push much pressure on yourself because that will make you, more, um, make you do more pressure, um, more errors why you are trying to like um, find the point or something like that. So just free your mind, enjoy the game while you are playing and be consistent. Looking at the Olympics now, looking at 2028, what should Nigerians be expecting from you? What should be your main target? What should be your progression? Yeah, so now um, I understand the KPIs that I will be working on with and uh, I will be looking at them and be evaluating them why I'm, um, why I'm trading on that performance so uh in the long run i am going to like uh, give my ultimate best in the next la that is in 2028 if i am going to qualify it and um it's going to be like a, a massive um difference like it's going to be so much different that like winning a medal it, it won't just be like participating or something like that Okay, before that, there will also be some other international inter tournament of Babinti. There will also be all African games before that time and the rest. All this tournament that is lined up before the Olympics, next one Olympics. What are, would you, what are, what's your team doing to ensure that you are properly fitted for the tournament? Um, well, we'll be um, having like a project after the Olympics to look forward to what is going to be in the future and uh, we'll be looking at tournament to attend and preparation towards it. So we are making sure, and the Federation is also making sure that they are going to, um, everything will be put in place to be able to achieve the ultimate performance. Yes, uh, but I know it's, no, it's very, very rare to see a lot of Nigerian uh, youth play badminton. And uh, for you, how did you start playing badminton? Who introduced you to the game? Did you get any uh, encouragement from your popsy, momsy, or how did, how, how did you start the game? Well, I started just like a normal kid, and uh, we were just playing. You never thought of football? Yeah, well, play, I was playing football, actually. And, uh, <laughs> well, when they introduced the game to me, like when the coach introduced the game to me, alias Babake introduced to me, he was... Babake, uh, where is the guy? Where is the man? He's late now. Okay, Mr. Yes. Rest in peace. Amen. So, and uh, it was, um, it was quite interesting to, like, uh, to see the game and to, when he introduced the racket and the shot, it was interesting and intriguing to me. So I was curious about how to like how does it work and stuff like that. So I, that was how like uh, he, the game actually won my heart in the long run. Your popsy, your father, and mother did they encourage you? Yeah, my um, parents were very supportive, including my brother, and uh, we um, they want me to do what I love doing best. So they uh, helped me. They were back. They were like a very strong backbone. So yeah, 
they were very supportive. <laughs> very supportive. Thank you very much for speaking with Francis Achi. Chotolin is here in Paris, 2024 Olympics. My name, and his name is still number one badminton player in Nigeria. Talking about the uh, Anoluako Dumo Okpayori. Thanks and God bless you. Thank you.